Greetings, fellow Bible readers. Welcome to week nine of our Bible read-through. This week, we finish up the second half of the book of Deuteronomy, and we get just a little taste of the book of Joshua. As we finish out Deuteronomy, we see how Moses continues to prepare the Israelites for entering into the promised land. We especially get a little glimpse of the rest of Old Testament Bible history. And it'll be interesting to note as we see that glimpse of Old Testament Bible history, how God's law and gospel come out in that. And then as we just get just that little peek at the book of Joshua, one thing that'll be interesting to look at is the difference in attitude between this new generation of Israelites who are going to enter the promised land compared to the attitude and actions of the generation that had Moses had led who were constantly rebelling against God. So let's get on to the details of each day. On day one, as we look at chapters 16 through 19, and we see a review of some of the religious festivals, as well as God speaking about the king that the Israelites would eventually ask for, as well as giving a very clear prophecy of the Savior in the, the mention of the great prophet who would come in Moses' shoes. We want to kind of think about how all of those different things, not just that prophecy of the great prophet, but all of the other things, gave little glimpses of that Savior to the Old Testament Israelites. Then on day two, as we look at chapters 20 through 22, in the laws and requirements that are laid out there, we see God place an emphasis on family and his concern for family. And so it's a good opportunity to stop and to appreciate the blessings that God has given you through family. On day three, as we look at chapters 23 through 26, we get a number of various laws governing Israelite society, and we see how in those laws, God emphasized the importance of compassion in the dealings of Israelite society. On days four and five, as we look at Deuteronomy chapters 27 through 28 and 29 through 31, we get that glimpse of the upcoming span of Old Testament Bible history. And as I said, the big thing to watch for, in addition to getting some familiarity with what's going to, to be coming down the road, spoiler alert, a lot of rebellion and falling away on the part of the Israelites. Notice how God presents not only his condemning law at that rebellion, but also holds out promises of gospel for those Israelites as well. Then on day six, we get a look at you get to look at Deuteronomy chapters 32 and 33. And those two chapters form an interesting juxtaposition. In chapter 32, we get God warning the Israelites about their rebellion. And yet, despite the certainty that they will fall, in chapter 33, we still have God pouring out his promises and blessings on those Israelites. And then finally, on day seven, we finish up the book of Deuteronomy with Moses' death. And as we head into the first couple of chapters of the book of Joshua, we see a very different spiritual tone being set by the Israelite nation. We see Joshua encouraged to devote himself to the word of the Lord in order to be strong and courageous, and the Israelites actually insist that he should be strong and courageous. We see the fulfillment of God's promises in the words that Rahab speaks to the spies, that God is going to save the Israelites or deliver the land to the Israelites. And so we see in these opening chapters the trust and confidence that this new generation has in God's promises as they now take possession of that promised land. That's all for this week. We'll see you next week.